and we're live awesome beanie blessings welcome to dead band dope tuesdays with me deadpan lizzie the beanie god this is being recorded for facebook and youtube if you don't want to be seen or heard please mute your mic and turn off your camera please unmute yourself if you do choose to read and mute when you're not reading out of consideration for your fellow artists this mic is for all mediums of art and beanies for those who do not, do not know me, I'm an artist among other professions. Couple ground rules, no hate speech or bullying whatsoever. If I hear any of that tonight, you'll get the boot, no questions asked. This is a safe space for everyone. Like me, many of us have parallel careers and are here to unwind after a long day's work. So please leave the crappy attitudes and beef behind before entering the space. Unless it's beyond beef, I'm vegan, I will gobble that up. I don't believe in trigger warnings as life is a trigger warning, but if you feel you need to give them, please do. Uh, we're an intimate crowd tonight, so no time limit on what you're sharing or what you choose to share. Um, but if the group gets bigger, we'll have about each performer do about five minutes. Um, I'll drop in the chat the list and um, who is on deck, and I'll announce that. Uh, just going to go over our schedule here at the Word is Right platform. So um, every first and third Monday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Cafe Generalissimo, hosted by our friend Generalissimo Brian Franco. Uh, and the second and fourth uh, Mondays of the month, we got Moist Mondays with Mar the fabulous host yourself who just entered our Zoom here, Marissa Prada. Um, every uh, second and fourth Tuesday, when I'm not here, we got Quintoxic Queers with Maude Dukes. Every first and third Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have poetry with Nick P. Um, and then on the second and fourth Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, he switches off with our friend Ron Mark Thompson, where he does a writing workshop. Uh, Thursday, Marissa does Instagram Live on uh, the Word is Right channel, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Fridays, on the first Friday of the month, uh, our friend Ray Jane hosts her mic. Um, it's really fun to get to cipher on that one. And Marissa also does another Instagram live at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on that page. And uh, on the second Friday of each month, we had our first last week, uh, Great Debaters uh, with Marissa Prada and Christy Scribbles. Uh, we did Cats and Dogs debate last week, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm sorry, the last Friday of the month, not the first Friday of the month with Ray Jane is Freestyle Fridays with Ray Jane. So check that out. And then every first Saturday of the month, Marissa hosts a cash slam. Uh, so come check that out and an open mic uh, before the cash slam. And uh, there's always a double feature. I've double featured on that. Um, it's a lot of fun. So check that out Saturday nights. Lizzie, uh, look at this. I got to just show you real quick. Look okay. at my beautiful mountains. And there's the Oh, moon. and yes, Marissa lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we're getting a very, very pretty view of the... Uh, New Mexico. Yeah. Base um, of the Rockies, yo. Yeah. That's well, I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Beautiful. I know I'll get to Albuquerque one day. I'm here in New York City. But uh, one day I'll get there. What was it? Oh, so on uh, Sundays, Tori Lutz at 8 p.m. Eastern Time hosts a poetry workshop. Uh, she had her book come out with Red or Green Books, which is Marissa's publishing house. I um, mean, if you're interested in putting uh, a book or a play or you know, just having your writing published, talk to Marissa. Um, she is a brilliant uh, editor and publisher. She's putting my book of Pan Coos out this year, Kundabini, with the uh, cover art I just saw yesterday created by our friend Shane Maynard. And uh, check out Grill Poets if you're not familiar with them. That's Shane's company and they are uh, uh, wonderful. So please go check them out online. And then to wrap it up on the second and fourth Sundays of the month at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, myself and Maude Dukes host Rainbow Table Talks, uh, which is a platform where we discuss LGBTQ plush issues. Um, and we also have a YouTube channel now. So search for the word is right on YouTube and you can find all our videos if you can't join us live. Uh, but we are happy to bring you poetry and mediums of all art every day because the world should have art and poetry in their life every day. And we thank Marissa Prada for continuing to give us these platforms. All righty. So if you haven't already, please drop your name in the chat and I'll add you to the list. And I'm going to drop the list in the chat right now. All right. But up first tonight on Dead Panda Up Tuesday, 
please welcome my friend who just submitted for our upcoming LGBTQ art anthology. And if you are a member of the LGBTQ community, please email me at eStrauss91 at gmail.com. We'd love to feature your talent in our book, but please welcome to the Zoom stage right now, my friend and talented artist, Jamie McCormick. Hi, yeah. Good to see you. Oh my God, it's Jamie McCormick. No. They are a ray of sunshine. Don't get too excited. I'm going to play something experimental. <laughs> it's still a bit of a work in progress. So I'm going to need the lyrics up in front of me. Um, I need the lyrics up in front of me and I'll need the glasses on. <coughs> okay, this is just a wee something so far. Um, this is very much work in progress. And it's called Trust in the Process. I'm gonna trust in the process, cause this time I know. I'm gonna trust in the process, and go with the flow. I'm gonna trust in the process, cause it's understood. I'm gonna trust in the process, and it'll come good. Cause I will be the winner in time. Cause the universe knows what is mine. I'm still alive, I'm gonna trust in the process, and I will survive. I'm gonna trust in the process, cause there is a plan. I'm gonna trust in the process, and do what I can, cause I will be the winner in time. Cause the universe knows what is Cause my faith's strong I'm gonna trust in the process And I can't go wrong Cause I will be the winner in time Cause the universe knows what is mine a better ending than that sorry i was kind of riffing at the end there <laughs> i loved it y'all make some noise for jamie we Ooh. love experimental I'm music and art here Ooh, awesome that's what i love about this space you can bring any kind of art new stuff you're working on stuff from your past stuff you want to revisit um you have anything else you want to share at the moment i cannot can i sing a second one and, you may uh, you I'll, may sing like I said. There's no time limit right now, so you may sing or perform or whatever you want. I will just warn you before I sing this that for those who um find romance sickening, look away now, okay? Because this is gonna be, this is just this is just pure fucking oh. Anyway, and <laughs> I also apologise in advance that there's going to be there's going to be a little bit of uh, bad language at the end of this in a romance song, but um, oh, that's me. Okay. I can't seem to find the words. I speak, I say things wrong. So I'll tell you how I feel. In the lyrics of this song, 
Cause I love you And I don't think I can pretend anymore That I don't If I told you that I Turn me away If I told you that I want you Would you want me to stay Cause I love you
Oh, sorry, I was a shit ending for that one as well. I haven't worked that out properly. I'm just going it wasn't to shit at all. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah. I want someone to have me like that. That was amazing. It brought tears to my eyes, Jamie. It was so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Jamie. Yeah, I'll make some noise for Jamie McCormick and their beautiful music. Woo! Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Um, if you want to let the people know where they can find you, uh, you can say it or you can drop it in the chat, and we'll uh, we'll circle back to Jamie for round two. But I always love having Jamie here in their uh, beautiful artistry. All right. Up next, we got Daniel Vegas and on deck. Let me just check my list. Martin is on deck, but up first we got Daniel. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Do, I got two pieces for you. Um, so I don't know if anybody's been in a little weird funk. I've been in a little weird funk, so I've been praying a lot just to get uh, you know my mind right. Sometimes uh, it 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 decides to have its own thing. So um, I I thank God for writing because I'm able to put my emotions and my thoughts out. But sometimes that's not enough. <laughs> And you're looking for another outlet. So this is my other outlet, which is talking with you guys. Uh, So this piece is called The Power of God. In my daily meditation, using mantras for observation, seeing skylights turn to night like they craters, the moon in the back room like oscillators. Wind currents move so fast like they're constellations. I open myself like saying assalamu alaikum and pray to the most high because really there is no religion. I speak like a mystic, really a Christian. In the distance, I welcome worldviews, but better when we listen. Like the black Jews, I gain my freedom. Walking like Moses, splitting the Red Sea, how atrocious. How can you crucify a man who gave his all and who taught most of us how to own it? Your light, with the perseverance of, with, with this perseverance, my deep condolence. But he rose like a light year, composed of the Trinity and master darkness. Cause truth is beyond what, Cause truth is beyond what this Nostradamus did when he broke the Bible apart. I'm rapping against Babylon or Babylon, whatever you want to be saying when I'm rapping, when I'm rapping along, like catch me back in the bar in the telekinetic and amica bowl. No, I'm on the flow, flowing through the Nile, yo. Pyramid symbolized the sky, yo. What's out in space, yo? By pace, yo. Without a facial, bearded like a Nephilim. Peace to the feminine. God is when I enter in the holies of holies. Temples in the earth remind me of the stars. So I use my consciousness to heal all of my scars. I'm with Jesus. If I face you, it's to clear out the darkness. I bring in angels of the highest order, walking on water and calming all of the storms. It was just a reminder of all of his love, encompassed in a compass to bring the most compassionate hearts. We are powerful beyond measure, and that's just talking to start. So whenever you're walking in a Whenever you're walking a dark road, just know that God is with you and watch the rest as it unfolds. I claim light and the power to manifest my lantern with tactics that'll make acrobatics backflip and claim power over the dark. Whenever I'm famished, I ban this and anything else that's repulsive because God and the Holy Spirit and Christ with devotion can crush the devil down whenever we're forming. So I pray within you a peace so you'll always survive. Never believe in the lies that say you're anything else than amazing. So I give props to Jesus for always creating. Recognize your potential and the power you hold. Never quit on yourself and watch the whole stories unfold. But this time, it will be you with some grace. Because God never gave up on you. So imagine a bowl of light around your body and chase. Out any demon who tries to take you out of your space. You're a person to not be messed with. If you need to erase, then know your freedom and never give up on your faith. The power of God. Damn, let's go, Daniel. Let's go. Yeah. We that, need, that, we that, need that one, that one hey. felt, you know, I had a little heart string connected to that one. Like I said, it, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the change into the season. I just been feeling a little sad for some reason. And so I wrote that piece just to get me through that time. Um, this one's a little bit more aggressive. This is uh, dedicated to all the poets, all the poets that write and even those who don't write, it's called Iron Poet. All right. I'm the next Iron Poet, you can see me on mics. 
Cause I'ma do more thing than just bringing the light. I'm here to ignite like walking on lava, elevating high like a spiritual conscious. My content can be considered the hardest. Just plain, no I'm not, yo I hit like I'm August. The multi-syllabic metaphorical garnet, my rhymes come fully dressed like a fashion statement. And still I got enough words to rip out pages, melancholy, but only because I feel the faintest. Ideas spread out like a vegetarian blatant. So real and so raw like an invisible spaceship. And still I consider to be part of this matrix where all is thought, but also backed up by some movement. Actions are actions unless you fully compute them. And despite all the heckles, I will push through the norm like a bodybuilder lifting up his back against the wall. I'm like Atlas holding the world on my shoulders in case I ever do fall. I walk on the sky and use the clouds as my phone. And in the middle of chaos, I create energy. Lightning straight from the raindrop as it keeps the letter G like God and Tristan in nature, gold, cold like glaciers. But then I heat up like a volcanic crater. Buster rhymes like Buster rhymes whenever I intertwine. Spanish with Catalan, make glory, give glorious bastards, make homie the Dalai Lama. Singing like, ooh la la la, that's the way that we rock when we're doing nothing. Ooh la la la. And still I bring historical truth like Egyptian Sphinx, knowing to hold roots, cause all that was water. Canoes and trade ports for the coming of time. And still I glow light like the sun in my rhymes and speak in sublime with lyrical heights. The canopy is my reality when I casually clear out my casualties, a commodity for economically, economic anthologies is to be possibly like pottery, molded, molded into greatness. When my apologies are nothing but hypotheses, okay, let me reorder my raps. I'm talking about raps like Cleopatra, raps like Erica Badu raps, raps like MCs flowing in the Nile River. Either way, it's cool. Raps like Bohemian rap cities. My raps can breathe because they take form of their own. So let me kick you this rap for the people at home. I mean, my raps can be rapidly scattered into evaporate calories. Yo, my rhymes are your batteries when I flow like the lottery, one in a million. When words when I calibrate Colosseums, or I meant to say Colosseums, my words strike truth like a storm with a pile of felines. And yo, I rewind back, I rewind, I rewind back to the beginning of this poem. Because if you miss the purpose, then you're lost in the source. Or should I say lost in the sauce? Either way, I would end it like this. A man in the pond, the command of my tongue. When I still it with songs, you see your shadows can hold light, but it depends on the storm. Or should I say it depends on the poem? Either way, I rock mics like I'm back in the barn. I am poet. Thank you. Make some noise for Daniel, friends. Woo! Oh, that's how you do it, poet. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, too kind. Yeah, too kind. <laughs> nah, both those pieces were so powerful and beautiful. Um, I love the first one especially. And yeah, no, I've I've been in a funk. I've talked. I think I talked last week or the week before about my seasonal depression, and I'm also single right now, and that's kind of been bumming me out a little bit. I, mean, I don't know if anyone else in the room is single, but sometimes when you're single, it's just kind of hard, you know, when you see photos of people or like seeing them. Which I'm not. I am happy for those people. Sometimes it's just kind of hard when your heart is healing. But thank you so much, Daniel, for sharing. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from you later. Uh, tonight, where can the people find you online? Oh yeah, of course. Um, Instagram, Daniel Vijayka's music, and on the Word Is Right open mics. <laughs> yeah, you can. He's he's a great supporter, and he's featured on Ray Jane's show, and we love having Daniel with us. So thank you for being here. All right, up next we got Martin Parker. Hey, Christy Scribbles entered the room. I'll add you to the list. Martin Parker. And on deck, we got Chanson. All right, thank you, Lynn. Pardon me, find the button here to turn my camera off so I can go find my poem here. <clears throat> uh, glad to hear it's an epic poetry night, among other things, because um, I was just thinking about this poem. I haven't shared that much because it's so long. It's an analogy for a good friend of mine. We had a complex relationship. Uh, this is called Rocky Folkspear. Echoes from Stadia bring me back to shadows of memories of rocky relations that flicker to life in staggered stages of crimson connections to counters of crows and the mystery man who married a shoe 
ignoring the carpenter passing the hat as you and her brother caroused all night, not knowing just what the future would show. With games in the yards and the federal field and also beneath the freeway arch, chasing a ball lifted up to the sky from a land down under the silent sea. While stones curled away on pebbled ice to seal a season curiously free of brushing the slush at shouting signs, exposing my logocentricity. You focused on fixing a housewarming ficus free of all bondage you flailed against on our final walk through the neighborhood trails on a floor more lately chaotically fluid to flourish for years before finally failing and leaving leaves littered amongst the debris around your speakers set up in my space for the sharing of music with friends. We'd watch those vibrant hot house flowers behind the shockingly mellow Michelle, not like the one pouring out base desires beside the shell that showed rusty roots bound by frenetic cerulean harps that traveled about in a bandolier with rumors of random precision that ring and will shine ever on in my mind. Like the guard you called out for a single pierced lobe, bringing him down to more calmly explain than you or I had a right to expect the customs of his Carolina home. And soon the signs of the end of times, thus sending us down the signing line, recalling the songs of a double star in a church that was named for my aunt. Or casually getting yourself called out for offering an officer a good day too far when told not to turn on the way to Zigay at the noon 930 one evening in May. And then there's the time we were stunned to see Athene's orchestrionics reveal that flitter and flare around the curved wooden walls of the hall by the mansion on the hill. And then it takes me back to the stage of the arena or the post where the weather was always quite glad. And the young one sang tales of a valley so green where Janice inspired by the voice of Aretha was 24 all over again on every single singing night while hauntingly breaking another piece of our hearts resounding with joy. While ordering Italian at Eritrean venues, we'd witness bottled sriracha fire go sauntering by in a promenade then rush in to view an orthodox skies or hazy sights of seasonal lights while heading to hear a harmonic ocean cutting fine folks of intricate folk, cutting fine figures of intricate folk in a round, round salsa time. My thoughts turn to you at the lupine lure as we lay beneath the limitless sky, remembering your gift of years before while listening with joy to the wilder of time. Then long buried memories flickered anew. You asked me to help help you commit one last time and call to postpone our next walk through the woods a few minutes before your collapse. The words of your favorite Jedi we heard, his anthem resounding the stairway besides, along with a new controversial, now controversial hail on a campus of earlier Shakespeare pursuits. We gathered around a bumper crop of memories carefully laying about to reminisce and fearlessly hope as Eric cried his heavenly tears, you'd finally find found in your wandering way some asylum for your soul. And this is in loving memory of Peter Folger, whose name can be translated as rock folk spear. And this is a short haiku written by Peter, showing his love of food. Um, pie being eaten, fully enjoyed, enjoyed with each gulp, a sea of pleasure. Uh, Thank you so much.
Those are beautiful. Everyone make some noise for Martin, please. That's awesome, Martin. Woo! Yeah. Lovely. So beautiful. Lovely tribute. Oh, thank you so much for being here and sharing. It's Parlequins, your Instagram, right? Uh, Parquillian, sorry. Parquillian. It's a tricky, tricky, tricky one. <laughs> yeah. From Parker and Parker and Quill. It just sort of came to me in a dream one time. I love it. We got some really cool Instagram handles on a, on this platform. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and we look forward to hearing from you more uh, later tonight. Uh, right cool, now, thank you. we yeah, always happy to see you. All right, now we got uh, on deck. We have Terry Rose. But up to the mic now, we got Chance on Bird. Good evening. Um, I have a short poem and then um, three haiku. I'd write X's and O's all over the board to call tic-tac-toe for your heart. I'd hold you for 365 days kiss you in 365 ways to show you that the true game lies not on the page, but in the daily hunt for more reasons to love you. Haku. She smells like apples. My thought is she shares poems, nutritious goodness. Haku. Kisses under stars, symphonies of calming wind, perfect ambiance. And last one, Russia and Ukraine, Putin puts out on fire. What a great headline. Thank you. Nice, love those haikus. Y'all make some noise for him. Woo! Putin is a hoe. <laughs> Putin yeah. is a hoe. Who said that? Awesome, Chad. Huh? Whoever said that, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I might, <laughs> I, might, I might use that as an, as a, as another haiku. <laughs> Whoever said Putin is a hoe. Is a hoe. Good. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Yes, but we uh we of course want peace in Ukraine and around the world, and our hearts go out to everyone uh, there. And thank you for sharing that. And yes, we need to write uh more about politics and more about what's happening in the world um, into our art, especially our poetry. So thank you so much, Chanson. Uh, where can the people find you online? You can find me on um, Instagram, Twitter, IG, uh, yeah, IG, Twitter, um, YouTube at Soul Inc. Speaks. And you can find me on my on Facebook, Chance on Antonio Bird. Um, you can also find me, um, find my books on Amazon, um, From Crisis to Confidence and Open Soul, My Journey to Holistic Healing, and um, Little Inspirations. I'm also um, hosting on Fancabulary next um, next Thursday on the 24th. And um, I'm hosting a Haku workshop with the Forever 7 on April 2nd. Oh, well, congratulations on all that. I'll definitely try to make it to Fincabular. I haven't been there for a minute. I haven't been free on Thursdays for a minute. Um, but always good to see you, brother. Thank good you for sharing you. your art and your voice. Oh, and he's, you uh, You do the postcard program here at Words, yes. right? right? Yes, yeah, so, um, I'm uh, running the uh, postcard program. Um, Please send out um, postcards around the world um, and around the country. We have um, a list, and I need to get some postcards so I can start sending some out. But yes, um, that's the, the best way to get poetry around the world for um, for less than well for less than fifty cents. Uh, you could definitely um, get some share some inspiration around the world. So I yeah. look forward to to reading some and sending some. Yeah, I've done the postcard program. I've sent some po postcard poetry and I've received them. It's really nice. It makes your day. Yeah. It really does reading people's lovely little um, poems and it costs like nothing to get yeah. postcards. So awesome. Yes, I need. I have moved, so I have to update my address. <laughs> so I will send that to you. Um, okay. Thank you so much, Chanson.
All right. On deck, we have Heidi. And coming to the mic now, we got our very own Terry Rose Dritson. Hello. Why not um, Terry Rose? <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm going to read something that's going to be in my book, I think, unless we take Here's it out. Here's 15. It's getting a little bit, it's got 69 pages, which I find that to be ironic. But I was kind of shooting for that, you know, I kind of thought that would be so cool if I could come up with 69 pages, but we'll see if we can keep it. This one is not erotic. This is about this lady. Her name is Mildred Norman Peace. I mean, Mildred Norman. She's the Peace Pilgrim. American spiritual teacher from New Jersey. She actually was from my town. Mystic, pacifist, vegetarian, and peace activist. In 1952, she became the first woman to walk the entire length of the Appalachian Trail in one season. It was a 28 year journey. Her goal was walking across the entire country for peace. She only owned what she wore and carried, walking until she found shelter and fasting until given food. She relied on the hospitality of strangers. She said, people are good. There's a spark of good in everybody. Here's my poem. I walked in Peace Pilgrim Park today. It was closed all summer because the residents let their dogs run in there and did not pick up after them. The last time I was there, I brought my bitch Violet and when she saw another dog, she got loose from her harness and lunged at the smaller dog. I was quick to get her in a wrestling hole to keep her from grabbing the other dog. Violet likes to take her toys, rip out the stuffing and dismantle anything that can be taken apart. I was afraid of what she, was, of what she would do to the smaller dog. After I fully subdued her, I conversed with the other owner while I managed to get her leashed back up. Crisis averted. The small city that I live in is not without its problems. The park was dedicated with a sculpture and plaque of the woman who was known as the Peace Pilgrim. Someone carelessly cut her in half and damaged the hand painted tiles that she rested upon. These were created by the children in the school that my child attended 15 years ago. Around the tiled areas sat three concrete benches which were broken again by the same persons of interest in the, whoops, sorry, gotta move up a little bit on my page. Sorry, I hate one second. In the destruction of the statue. I still like to sit there and contemplate the purpose of this woman when she was alive. She lived her testimony walking across the country for the purpose of peace. She was a modern day Mother Teresa, akin to Jesus. Her selfless actions were to be honored in the form of this park. Today, when I returned, I noticed that she was repaired and made whole again. I was happy to see that someone extended her this kindness. I was free to admire the other beauty of the children's artwork on the tiles. They also recognized the significance of this woman and her timeless purpose. More true today than ever, even though we are still a long way off this single redeeming act was at least a small step in the right direction. Peace and love for 2022. Yes, peace and love for 2022, 100%. Make some noise, y'all. Yes. Love, love the peace program. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely peace. And you said that's coming out in your book? Uh, say that again, what? It's coming out in your book. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things in there. Yeah, for now. Awesome. Yes. Unless we take we it out. The... <laughs> no, we got the fierce fifteen. We got Terry Rose, myself, Christy Scribbles, and we're all gonna be at the New York Poetry Festival uh, in September. So it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, check out Red or Green Books. Check out these brilliant poets, and yeah, buy their stuff because we need to spread all that poetry love in the world. Um. Do you want to read another piece right now, or do you want to go in round two, Terry? Mm, I'll I'll go in round two if I can hang it. If I can hang. All good. All good. Well, thank you. And uh, where can the people find you online? I'm on uh, Teresa Rose Dirtson on Facebook, and I'm on I Funny's Mom on Instagram. Yeah, she got a cool Instagram handle too. All right, thank you, Terry. So glad you're here. All right, thank you. on deck. We got the woman I just mentioned, Christy Scribbles. And up to the mic now, we got Heidi. And please forgive me if I don't say your name correctly. Her Mason? Her Mason. I'm sorry, but say it one more time. 
Hermanson, like three words, Hermanson. Hermanson, Patty Hermanson. That's well, okay, nobody gets it. And I apologize, we got I apologize for the lighting, but if I turn the overhead light on, it's like an operating room. And I just have had that kind of day that I can't take that much light in my eyes, all right? I get so it. So anyway, these are, I'm gonna read you two poems. This is from my um, book, which you can't see, of course, because it's dark. It's called Waking to the Dream. And this poem is called Memento Mori. We are transients, our stint short, nothing more than a twig that randomly snaps in two, no more significant than a stain from a wine glass laid carelessly on yellow parchment. We dwaddle as shadows darken, gaslight reality, shrug at times larceny as we loiter, gazing off into the distance, deep in thought preoccupied. A lull, here are the kids, precious faces, serious, stoic, darkened eyes staring into the future. In the background, some books, some wine, everything you need, really. The shroud of recollection is a wistful veil, how time smudges memory in a soft lens. Under nocturne, rogue stars revealed all sparkle and crushed glass and covered everything like a mantle even time. But now our limbs tremble, we surrender and abandon everything as the minute hand absconds with our bones. Time varnishes our memories in warm sepia tones, a lens we fall through willy-nilly. Dazed, we pack a small Dazed, we pick a small bouquet of moments, salvage our few futile remnants, and grudgingly, tearfully remit our squandered pension. Thank you. That's that one. And I didn't mention that that's an ekphrastic poem, but you know, I always hate those poems that people get up there and then the explanation is longer than the poem. So we won't do that tonight. I really like cemeteries. And uh, so this poem is cleverly titled Cemetery. Cemetery is a rest stop in the quietest of cities. You can stretch your legs, breathe deep, walk among the hush, <clears throat> read the condensed version of their life. I've stumbled on those better angels, mossy, crock, cracked, some missing a hand or wing. Small faces earnest as if holding fast, sworn to secrecy. No time is squandered better, drowsing on sun-warmed earth, staring at stippled shadows that chase down hours. That is to say, the sundial is frozen. Quiet except for the sibilant syllables of a wood-bound bird. The wind, of course, in each blade of grass, quivering clouds, low and brooding, as you stalk lush moments, taking every morsel, you can finally testify no. Those sleeping below can say they have all the time in the world. Yes, Heidi, yes. thank you for joining us. Where are you coming to us from? Nebraska. Nebraska! Oh, Nebraska! Nebraska. That's, that's why we're behind me. Very mm, cool. Awesome. Welcome to the world. Awesome. And since well, you're going to ask, prairiesongs.com, I have all the major ones, but mostly I look at Facebook, prairiesongs.com. Okay. Where can we buy your book? Is that where we can buy your book? You can buy it on Amazon. You can uh, go to your favorite local independent store and ask for it. Waking through the dream. Awesome. Uh, if you have any links or anything you want to put in the chat, feel free and feel free to share some on the word. We have shows almost every day of the week, so welcome. We're so glad to have I you. I know, and I was here a couple of weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, and I had this pack of um, post-its, and I just kept writing things down and posting because it was like, we're doing this, and then we're going to do this, but next we're doing this. So I was like, and do you think I know where those post-its are now? I don't, but it's all right because I'm here now in person. Awesome. All my post-its are on my coffee table in front of me, but I love that you right? shared from your book. Thank that's you. How, that's the the only uh, they're mostly notes about the book i'm putting out and that i have put my dog's food oil that's a note i have 
But um, thank you so much for sharing and your book and everyone go buy her book. She'll drop a link in the chat. Um, yeah, awesome. Always happy to meet new people. What would, what does Nick say, one of us? That's what our friend Nick P, who's a host here at the Worries Right. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Yeah. So now you've made a mistake and you have to come back and keep sharing your beautiful poetry with us. All right. Well, thank you so much, Heidi. And we look forward to hearing from you more if you stick around uh, later this evening. All right. On deck, we got Marissa Prada, but up to mic now. We got, and she's part of the Fierce 15 herself, and she's got a cool Instagram handle too. Christy Scribbles, just featured here on the word. Just featured here on the word is right this weekend. Hi. Yes, it was so much fun. Saturday was awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I am the Poetry Alchemist on Instagram, and um, the one I'm reading tonight is a little longer, but it's the one that kept calling out to be read. So that's what I'm reading. Tunnel vision. I used to see inside the tunnel, inside the little, inside the small. I used to see others being creative, being creators, being artists. I used to think and feel and see myself inside that tiny little hole at the end of that long, boring tunnel. And that's how I thought the world was, that tiny little vision through that tiny little hole. And then the quiet found me and the reflection found me and I started walking and trudging and trekking down that tunnel, down that vision of something that poked me and prodded me way deep inside for way too many years. So I let the quiet speak and I let myself breathe and I found myself inside this tunnel. And I kept hearing the echoes of the voices of the calling of my channel. And in the quiet, in the raw places, in the covering up places, I heard myself. I heard my soul, I heard divinity. And I saw a different view inside that tunnel, inside that place within my heart. I saw it wasn't a tunnel at all. It was a portal. It was a possibility, possibility of ways in which to see it. You see, to really see it, you must see yourself and all of the wrongs and all of the rights and all of the mistakes and all of the past and do the work and do the apologies and do the forgiving. You must forgive yourself first and all the versions of you that you were but aren't anymore. And you must be okay with being in the tunnel and you must be okay exactly where you are. And you must be okay with the person you are today. And inside of the work and figuring it out and what was and is being stored inside of what was being hidden, and of why it was still there, the tunnel that seems so small starts to expand. You listen to you, you listen to guidance, you listen to that little voice, and the tunnel starts to morph and grow and bend, bend and shape shifting to a completely different view of you, of the tunnel, of the tiny, of the meaning to it all, and a light appears, a portal appears, and it begs for you to step inside. It begs for you to see yourself and know yourself and love yourself and channel yourself. Inside the inner channel of you sits the real you, the forever you, the soul you, and inside the tunnels of portal sits the artist realms and the magical realms. And if you decide to stop and sit inside the quiet, inside the you, inside the healing and the forgiving, and being done with the shaming and done with the guilting and the dividing and you start allowing and loving and expanding, then the tunnel expands and the channel widens and the lens of it will shift slowly at first. And the more you listen and the more you learn to hang with you and love with you and be with you, it starts to quit, quicken. And the tunnel becomes covered in crystals and in rainbows and the lights at the end turn psychedelic style and when you step through and become the new you the tunnel vision you the art comes alive and the music speaks and the signs are everywhere and the people you need just appear in the tunnel vision place and you find yourself okay with you okay with it all because the tunnel vision isn't real and the tiny isn't really here. It is only how we see it. How do you see it? The tunnel vision you, of the real you, of the soul you, of the tunnel vision to you. Thank you. 
Damn. Oh my God, my mind is just. My mind nice, is Nice, the tunnel vision. I see it through the tunnel vision. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. There were so many quotables in there. Mm-hmm. Is that going to be in your book? Or is that just something you. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that'll be in the book. Awesome. What's the name of your book again? Channeling Moons. Channeling Moons. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did it from the new moon in February to the new moon in March. Like it's a journal, poetry, healing all together. So, so 29 Pisces days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you a Pisces, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Of course. <laughs> awesome. No, that poem blew my mind. I love it. And I can't wait to read it on the paper because obviously when we hear things, but then we see it and we connect so differently. Oh, thank you for sharing that. You can find her at the Poetry Alchemist. I just have so many cool Instagram handles here. Um, awesome. We look forward to hearing more from Christy later tonight. Uh, up now, we got our founder of Platform, Marissa Prada, and then we'll start off with round two again. And uh, if they want to perform again, Jamie is on deck. Awesome. And as always, you guys can find me at Red or Green Bikes. I'm pulling a Michael Sindler, right? Red or Green Bikes. Red is R-E-A-D because I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and everything is red or green chili down here. We like it picante. So yes, Red or Green Books, uh, Red or Green Books.com. So two poems. Since Danielle's here tonight, I have an awesome two-minute slam. And uh, then I will do, yes! Yes, and it has plenty of fucks in it. It's almost many fucks as only biscuit songs. It's wonderful. Um, I love my two minute slams. And then uh, then I have something from my upcoming book, uh, Barfing Up the Butterflies. All right, so the slam is titled Pen and Paper. I've not done this in a while, okay. All right. <clears throat> Dear depression, fuck you. You forced me into a basement prison, no light, no air, a kidnapped kid weighted chain around my neck, grown to a woman in the dark for so long now that light is pain. Fuck you entitled elitists who think a woman has no rights to her body, to her health care, to her sexuality, her body paying the bills, her brain paying the bills. Someone's got to step up. Someone's got to provide. Stop hiding behind your morals. Stop telling us we are sinners. We are survivors. Dear gangs, fuck you. Stop taking our children, making them into gang banging babies with guns, fill their head with such hate. Don't you know they're just kids, our kids? Dear banks and predatory lenders, fuck you. Fuck your fees in tiny print, robbing the poor of their rent money, food money, diaper and formula money. Fuck your inept explanations, expectations the consumer won't know they're getting ripped off. Dear drugs and drug dealers, fuck you. Fuck your claws shedding through the veins of our loved ones. Fuck your grip on their minds, on their bodies, on their love that forgets family. Fuck your toxic tonic invading their bodies and stopping their hearts. Fuck you prescription drugs too. Fake your fake face pill bottle safe to take me, eat me, drink me, snort me, shoot me, shot in the head eventually, self-inflicted, but was it really? Was it you making the choice or the addiction that grew unbeknownst to you? So fuck you addiction and fuck you suicide too. Too many people gone too soon, too many funerals, too many flowers, too many broken hearts, too many tissues, too many tears to drown in until death chooses me too. all right and then this one is not a long one it's uh coming up in my upcoming book barfing up the butterflies uh pre-orders will be on sale soon you don't want to miss it it's a great book this title outside in i've come home from an expired day Cannot quite reach around T-Rex arms thrash on my back, strain to unclasp this bra from my back, back against the wall. I pull at it, I yank it, it yells at me that I will never breathe easy again. I swallowed myself back down into myself, a measurement of protection, perhaps. Still the scales of my mind slide up and down this wind chime, chest hollowed out beast bones, ribs rip wind into song like naked winter willow trees. Birds perch on the outside of this rib cage. I reach for them and they fly away to some safe place still yet to discover. See, 
I stockpile sorrows, since there is nowhere else to put them, stashed away in place of a heart, treasure chest lungs full of shiny, golden, broken dreams, screaming steam from the kettle of my throat that was strangled quiet so long ago, see. Breath is my currency to security. Each word, each roll of the tongue, lick of the lip, volume, cadence, rhythm of survival inflating my balloon chest and I still can't rip off this bra. Get the fuck off me already. I scream out in frustration, tears melt, a rescue body slumps over. Should I give up again? Every night is the same insane struggle to get free, get out of this body trap, booby trap, trap seedling squirming for sunshine. I toss dirt. I toss another shiny, golden, broken dream to the offering of tomorrow, if I even make it that far. Thank you. Matt, give some love to Miss Prada, y'all. Woo! Oh, God. Love you guys. I'll be back for Yeah, we got to a... She said I was sneaky because we planned a three-month tribute for her this weekend, but she does everything for us. She publishes our book. She gives us these platforms to host and chill out on. So we got to shower her with all the roses. Or red and red chili peppers, because that's what you do in New Mexico. <laughs> anyway, we'll hear a little more from Marissa uh, later this evening. But up now, we're going to go start round two. And on deck, we got Daniel. But up now, we get to hear more from Jamie McCormick. I'm going to do an instrumental for my next one then. Am, 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 am I still okay to do two? I We're not kind of too limited. Okay. Right, well, then I'm going to take a chance on this one. Um, this is an instrumental. It doesn't have a name, but it's me attempting to put... Um, um, trying to make music that sounds like my neurodivergent thoughts. Thank you. 
right, thank you for indulging me. <laughs> um, I'll play something normal next. This was called um, Is Love Not All. Is love not all? Is love not enough? Does love not conquer all the other stuff? Is love not the king of all it does survey? Does love not always find Is love not all? Is love not supreme? Does love not make a reality of the dream? Is love not the builder of bridges in Does love not want you to be mine? Is love not all? Is love not too much? Does love not need the personal touch? Is love not the ocean? Does love not always prevail? Will the bitterness not sour me on the way to find your soul? Will the hungry sea devour me and spit me out less whole? different but so fun amazing uh, thank you jamie i always love hearing your music what you cook up you can find them on facebook at uh, jamie mccormick right? oh, um i sorry i uh, i'm on um i'm on youtube i'm on facebook i'm on instagram although i don't i, I don't pay too you know what instagram. But I'm on I'm on YouTube and I'm on Facebook and Instagram. All of them. Uh, oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, check out their uh, YouTube page. It's fun. I've watched some of their videos. All right. On deck, we got Martin, and up next we got Daniel. Okay, so um, that was wonderful. By the way, I really enjoyed that piece. That love piece was, it was so real nice. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to do this piece called Language of Light. And um, for me to do this piece, I always got to show you why I call it Language of Light. So um, I, I believe we come from the stars, right? Before we came to Earth, we came from somewhere. And uh, so about 10 years ago, I started writing symbols, but I decided to go to Sedona, Arizona for a week to do a couple of stuff out there. So I got inspired to write them again. And these are kind of the stuff that I've been writing, if you can see. So they're very like, they're almost like equations of some sort. Um, I guess if I could really tap in in my meditations, I can find out what they really stand for. But 
so I wrote I, I wrote a poem. I figure if I'm going to be writing these galactic symbols, I might as well uh, merge it with my poetry so I could stay grounded, right, and not not fly so flat so high up there. So this is called the language of light. It goes like this. I'm not sure how connected we are to the stars. I mean, I can imagine we resemble them in some way. Beings from throughout the galaxy look at us in amazement. Our cultures are rich, our foods are spectacular, and who can be against our art? We got break dancing, hip hop, slam poetry, martial arts. We are indeed a race young but old in soul, so at least some of us. Some of our greatest have been here for a while, teaching us how to stay connected. This planet turns, and if we are not at the same vibration, we can fall off the roller coaster. A roller coaster of emotions, a roller coaster of experiences. So I align like talking with the wind in some sort of star languages that can be felt when you're in tune. I have been here for many lifetimes, a pilot in one, a soldier in another, a monk, a priest, but never have I been an MC until I met hip hop. And she be that, full of love and embrace, full of inspiration. She saved me, you know. I feel like when I rhyme, I get close to the God. Something in me finds the flow of being in that trance state. So I write symbols from time to time. When I connect my hands form movements that when in sync with my breath, I can travel to different dimensions all in my body without leaving it. I guess that's why I rhyme to stay grounded. I pick up the dirt from the ground, put it in my hands, put my hands together and feel how amazing this planet is. We are literally in the middle of space, nothing above us, nothing below us, just hugged by the universe. But let me get back to the beings of this earth. You know, we are all humans, but not all of us are just that. Some like men in black suggest are a little bit more so let these sky languages or advanced earth symbols that can be found in almost all of our cultures, for example, look at this picture one more time. What do you feel? What comes to mind? Is it foreign? Do you know it? I sometimes find myself trying to be more, but my lesson is we are. Chasing an arrow, hoping to catch its speed. When hit, when hit the target, I be like flash moving through the city at lightning speed. However, when I rhyme, I slow down. Yo, I slow down when I pass like pronouns, see the light in front of me, so I'm a show now. The possibility of being high like Cafe Macchiato. I, I, so I tune into the frequencies while in staccato. My words read galaxies like stars in the bottle. Ain't you like the sun, so my symbols ride out tomorrow. Futuristic like mi pana, hablo mañana con mis letras de Cuba, Havana. So I channel light like thoughts plugged into the source of spirit. I hope you enjoy this, because it's been about a minute since I spoke what I felt inside. So let these words be what you thought that you will find in case you ever travel way outside your mind. Yes, my mind is just blown tonight <laughs> with all this art. Oh my God. When you get to the Nuo, I hope you please perform it on that stage because the brick and mortar needs to absorb that oh, beauty yeah, you just definitely. spoke. Definitely. Oh, that's awesome. It was such a powerful piece. Thank you for sharing that. If you're not already following Daniel, y'all give him a follow. He is a brilliant artist, like all of our artists here tonight. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. On deck, we have, where's my cheat sheet? Terry, but now we're going back to Martin. Hey, thank you again. Pardon me again while I go off camera here. I was just thinking the other day, I realized the other day it's been 40 years since I was an exchange student in Japan, contacted by one person from then I'm still in contact with. And they're like, yeah, can you believe it? But I have a couple shorter poems here I've written about uh, a couple of the other exchange students I knew there. This first one just came to me recently. It's called MLR. <clears throat> we met on a late night train to Sendai. Upon a tag, she signed her name while standing on luggage to let people by and added these words, avoid the plane. She turned me on to prog folk tales 
with ice cubes as thin as the dawn of the day, while the horse she rented by mucking out stalls in her dreams like Ian was skating away. At later meetings, judgments were made with praise for a seasonal Renaissance scene whose origins into a illusion would fade, disdain for a painting described by a queen. She conjured up visions of dungeons she'd build where dragons would fly with thread in the sky, then casually through her lips the words spilled, by 35 she would rather die. I snapped a shot but she turned away shy toward clearings that forms like mountains surround while cherry blossoms floated on by along the former castle ground. Somewhere I still have that tag she once signed that night we met on that crowded train, a pearl of wisdom gleaned from her mind and ever I endeavor to avoid the plane. This is one about an Australian fellow exchange student. His name means lilies, so we realized her Japanese name would probably be Yuriko. So I call this Yuriko. There was a lily by a fountain, her petals yearning to be free, while living by a snow-capped mountain, we planted there from across the sea. Gentle words were all we shared and gifts of wisdom gladly given, just to know that someone cared could ease the shock of altered living. When winter passed, I left her there helped through a time of ebbing toil, and later the flower itself so fair, returned down under to native soil. Yet now of late in pleasant dreams, I see reflections of a blue. And recently, or so it seems, I sense an echo of faint perfume. And one really short one, it's a tonka, uh, which is a little longer than a haiku with five, seven, Five seven seven. Uh, for one of my the other exchanges is host sister who happened to run into the train station on the, in the big city one time. Big city station, recently despectacled, sparkling eyes reveal the light of a thousand dawns, reflecting the rabbit moon. And that's for Chiaki Uzuki, whose name means Thousand Dawns, Rabbit Moon. Oh, beautiful. Thank Those you. lovely. Thank you for sharing. Um, I've never been to Japan, but I will get there one day. I need to do a lot of traveling. My 30s is, I want to travel a lot. I didn't get to travel that much in my 20s, but I want to travel in my 30s. Uh, it's thank a you fascinating, so much if sometimes harrowing experience. <laughs> so good. Absolutely. And you can find Martin at Parquillion. So I can talk and read tonight. Parquillion um, online. And he's here with us every other Tuesday, which I love. We have so many of our mainstays here. And it makes me so happy. Thank you, Martin. All right. On deck, we got Heidi. And up now, we got Terry Rose. Hello again. I'm going to go off camera to read again something out of the book. Um, three short ones on the erotic side. One called Red Satin. I gave myself to my lover. I presented myself as a pretty red satin bow holding together the two luscious mounds surrounded by a lace tied package. Happiness, smiles, raised eyebrows confirmed the gratefulness of this gift. Swaying hips, ruby kisses, lips soft and full, but not too many. Why prolong the agony when we need to get right to it? Front to front, front to back, on the top, bottom bitch, extra manual stimulation gets the job done and then some. No lack of water here, thirst quenched. A look of satisfaction, a promise. Can I get a rain check? Yes. Next, three happy haiku. 
happiness happens. Hopefully, honestly, one, happy honey bun. Happiness happens. Hover on clouds or earthbound, heavenly harp sounds. Happiness happens. Hidden in tearful faces, holding heart spaces. And then the last one, winter is coming. The white march down of my pillowcase feathers floating above my head. And as I peek below my waist, there is a man carving out his place. From beneath my hips, writhing in deep tongue pressure, heaping mouthfuls of pleasure, plowed up around him. So easily he staked his claim on my ever loving mound. I do not envy the industri industriousness of his hot muscled task. But then imagine feeling my heartbeat alive, like a dam being torn down by this irreverent beaver, hard at work in my river. Imagine the whole day, tongue sore and beaming with accomplishment as the dawn overtakes us with heavy breathing and satisfying sighs. He lingers between my thighs, swimming inside my body. He thrusts to answer my ever beckoning calls to hidden places, eagerly filling every cavity in me. His spirit yelped as he released, giving up his ghost was my greatest pleasure. And peace. Yeah. By the way, not only she got her own book coming out, the Fragrant Book, she's a part of the Women's Touching Tongues Anthology, as well as myself and Marissa's. Got 31 fabulous female codices with all our sensual poems. A yeah. spectrum of it's a spectrum, but it's all beautiful. Yeah, and I hope, but I hope to hear more uh, from Terry in the future and read more of her books. So check her out online if you're not following her already. All right, and uh, if she's around later, Terry's going to close us out with a beanie blessings. All right, on deck we got Christy Scribbles, and coming to the mic again we have Heidi. I think somebody mentioned uh, the season. No, they mentioned like seasonal affective disorder. So thanks for the setup, whoever you were. I think that was me. But welcome. This is called the season. <clears throat> it is a season of glistening fresh roses and drawn chilled bones, plump chocolates and harsh wind. The heart's a rough rutted road traveled often, a cracked window letting the winter wind in scrabbling towards the dawn drawn. Smeared there a patchwork quilt or something that flutters, snow falling into an open mouth and onto roses. Inside me these days is a piece of night, another star in a moonless sky, perched on the fire escape of my heart. Jump. And then this is from my book that's coming out in May, yay, May. It's called Cocktails with God. This is called Spring Breakage, the Social Media Diaries. It's completely different from waking to the dream for some reason. Guys, my papers are, okay. Spring Breakage, the Social Media Diaries. I like laying around like a reigning queen, cares, thoughts, a tangled heap, sleep on my terms, not the world's. <clears throat> I hurled myself into my pillow, grasped it with both arms as if it was a long lost friend, which is pretty accurate if you consider it for a bit. When I dreamt, I dreamt of unsigned notes surreptitiously left in my mailbox, ridiculous miniature Mexican caballeros with empty holsters, and wicked grins. I was, quiet, I was quiet all weekend. I built a moat of pink and yellow all around my bed. They kept the dragons floating below at bay, but they also kept me in the bed. He had told me kindly and tactfully that I made a good friend. He didn't tell me in person what he'd splashed all over his Facebook, his new and improved relationship status. She was very blonde and very thin and had a PhD in relationships. 
that same placid non-expression on my face, a mask, a book that only I could read. If anyone were to ask, I was fine, I would say. My heart beats clear and regular. My eyes close of themselves at night. My breathing is light and even. Asleep or awake, I am sure this meant very little to him. And that's a weird ending, so I'll say the end. Oh, those were lovely, Heidi. Thank you so much oh, for sharing thanks. again. And if and if y'all haven't bought her book yet in the time we've been on this mic, go buy it. She's got some, she's got some tasty treats in there Wait, for what us. What else? Would you like to read one more? No, I think I'm done. All right. Well, thank you for being here. I loved hearing your poetry and getting to know you, and I hope you'll come back to more. Thank of you. Our I'll be back. Right? Hey, awesome. Love having new friends. All right. Oh, Stephen Blaine's in the room. We get to hear him play later. Hi, everybody. On... Missed you. So good. To... <laughs> Thank you. We missed you, too. I'm so glad you came to hang out and to play. Uh, well, I put you on the list after Marissa. So Marissa's on deck. And up next, uh, the woman who can get me to spit seltzer and water out on a Zoom. Because her comments, <laughs> she has the best comments in the Zoom chat in the entire poetry community. Like, I'm just saying it. She does. Uh, Christy Scribble. <laughs> okay. Um, this one was written on Valentine's Day. Beside me. He sits beside me. We watch the puff wonders of the reef on Netflix. We sit here side by side in the overwhelming understanding of our soul connection, of our eternal connection, the strings of forever loop between our energy. He has always just accepted me, always just allowed me to be who I am. Even when that person was the sad person, the broken person, the doppelganger me, who he loved and picked up and propped up and held, held up until I could find my feet again, find my footing and got up and fell down and got up and fell again. He was still there while I worked through the places of the darkness and the recesses of my mind, my mind of matter and covered in grief, that sticky can't get it off kind. He found a way to love me anyway, to laugh with me anyway, to find a way through with me anyway. We found a way through and found the why through and found the how through, through to the trail that led us here on this couch in this life with this version of me that you allowed me to be and that version of you that you've turned into, our version of happy, of home, of love, our version of home, our version of love. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, Christy Scribbles! Well, it was lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Christy mentioned in her, um, in her poem, Grief, and uh, on March 29th, when we have our fifth days of the month, Nick Pia Logos and I are gonna hold a um, grief writing workshop for uh, anyone that wants to attend at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time on 29th. We'll put putting out a Zoom flyer uh, soon for that, but uh, it's gonna be a nice night and just to talk about um, everything going on in our lives because Nick and I have both gone uh, through a lot of grief over the last several months, so we need to write it into our art. And Thursday night, I'm wrapping up the Guerrilla Poets Workshop on attachment, uh, trauma and attachment. So um, last month I did secure attachment in the first two insecure attachment styles. So, uh, but because that kind of got cut short, um, I'm going to go back and review those on Thursday. So it's not like you're going to really have missed anything. I'll have the prompts again that you can take and write. And then we'll be talking about the, the last two insecure attachment styles uh, spawn from trauma. So if you want to come and learn about attachment styles and trauma, uh, Gorilla Poets, G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A, Gorilla Poets, it's a free workshop Thursday night. Yeah, I tend. I think I attended the first one, and it was really nice um, to be able to write and be in that nice, safe space. Because um, we need those spaces to work through everything. Um, so Nick and I are really looking forward to being able to uh, give everyone um, the time to work work through things. Um, all right. So on deck, 
we got um, Stephen Blaine, and he'll close us out for the night. But up now, we got Marissa. Okay, so this is um, <clears throat> most likely going to make it into the book, uh, Barfing Up the Butterflies. Uh, that comes out this summer. I'm excited for it. There's three parts. It's about the it documents, the rise and fall of, of a relationship. So uh, you can imagine it starts great and ends like not so well. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. <laughs> it wasn't so funny uh, last year, but hey, you know what? You got to be able to laugh at all the shitty things. All right. So this is uh, near the end of the book. It's titled Perspective. When I see you now, you look different. Slumped shoulders, sunken cheekbones, a stranger, danger, gaunt ghost, residue of what must have been a man at some time in this monumental life or at least an apparition, an idea, a dream, mindset of a child's hope, a seed planted that never took root, rotted instead, for there is no home in this house anymore for you. There is no love in this woman for fiction, for fairy tales, or forever. There is no future in this whole wide world for you, for your lies, for your womanizing parts, I pray they fall off. For when I see you now, you are so little boy, boy bent by force into adult, but miss the lessons along the way. I see how far you dragged me down, how far I had to climb beyond your slimy snail trail slug pathway towards nowhere. And I loved you enough to reside there beside you with nothing and no one but our pens. What a disaster that would have been. This heartbreak is the breaking point, point taken, message received, the loud and clear path now pacing the beat of my feet, moving on, on my way, on my way up, out of your grip, on my way to forgetting you, for there is no home in this house anymore for you. And there is no love in this woman anymore for you. Thank you. Mm. It's a very emotional piece. Thank you for sharing that. And that, that's in your, that's in Barking Off the Butterflies? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to end on a, yay. <laughs> so I still have to write my Barbie as a Butterflies poem, but I'm trying to end on something that's like, what is the takeaway? The takeaway has to be positive or what the fuck was I doing, right? It doesn't have to be anything. It can be whatever you oh, want. The takeaway, there has to be a reason and there has to be a lesson because this can never happen again. And if think, my lesson can help you learn a lesson, then that makes it worth it. There has to be a lesson in this. I, I, well, I'm counting words right now. Hold on. One, two, three. Well, Christy wrote six words of a Pianku for you. If that wants to be the end read of Read it book. out loud. You should be, read well, out. she wrote six words. So you need three more words. Be the butterfly at the end and then add three more words. I'm just saying. Well, Your no, book. the idea is the, yes, the idea is the heartbreak was the crystallized chrysalis heart. Uh, it, 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 it secured enough space um, and isolation that change is possible. Yeah. Is the concept. I'm just, well, I love, well, I love what Christy wrote, Be the Butterfly at the End. If you like want a little Cancu at the end to like wrap up. Like, it's like I, I don't want it to be cliche either. Look at that. It is a great You are song, so though. little boy, right? Uh -huh. The beat of my feet moving on. <laughs> wow. Be the butterfly at the end. Or the, <laughs> that, Do you write music, Christy? She should. Maybe she, she, she should. should give it to me or Daniel. 
She's a natural lyricist. You could totally do Ethan Mackler when he does the bass guitar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at all these things. We'll have to feature that. Make it into a song. Show. I bet it would be a great, it sounds like a country song. <laughs> it does. I agree. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go. Yeah, so you should definitely write songs. I kind of want to try to write songs eventually, right? It's funny. I said counting words because I have. Why to don't we have? Every... Why don't we have a song oh. workshop? I, I, I'd be. You should host it. Oh my god! What a great idea! I think that you and Jamie and Ethan could be wonderful hosts for that. Anyway, oh. throwing you on the spot. Well, no, it's funny. I said counting could. words because, like, for my book for the pan food, I have to count everything. And now when I just write like regular free association, I'm like, oh, right, I don't have to count words. I can just write, this is kind of nice. I created a monster, but by the book of the monster I created. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Marissa. Oh, good night. Um, all right, so now to close this out for the evening, we got Stephen Blaine. <clears throat> Thanks. Thank, I'm sorry. I'm late. I, I teach on Wednesdays, uh, Tuesdays. No, uh, well, normally yeah. Wednesdays, but we moved it to Tuesdays this week, just the way it was. So, but uh, I always enjoy being here. I don't know. I've gotten a vibe. I'm trying to uh, feed into that vibe. Uh, it feels like a little inspirational thing might be good. So, yeah. um, I, ha I have something I wrote in uh, a while ago. It's called "When Hearts Listen, Angels Sting," and uh, and I recorded it. It's a really good recording. Uh, it's on Spotify. But uh, I haven't done it for years, so I thought I'd try it. Sorry, my, my pedal seems to have moved. Something wonderful happened and You understood you were truly blessed Did you ever realize Every journey you had taken Somehow turned out for the best Did you ever notice Feeling in your heart When all your fears took wing Standing right beside you Was an angel to remind you That when hearts listen Angels sing I know all about it Cause I once lived without it down a dark road and carried me a big load how I'd lost my way then I understood it a feeling in my heart and all my fears took wing standing right beside me was an angel to remind me that when heart Listen, angels sing. There's a messenger of light every holy day and night, always near, always near.
then I understood it feeling in my heart and all my fears took wing well, standing right beside me was an angel to remind me that when hearts listen angels sing Ooh. Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, Stephen. He is magic. He is Thank you. Magic. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Angels are so, so Someone, cool. <laughs> angels are cool. I'm so lucky I get blessed with all these musicians that come on Tuesdays. Really, I'm very lucky to have all the musicians. I mean, obviously all the poets are too, but I love that so many musicians come through on Tuesdays. Just so you um, know, I finished writing the poem that Christy told me to do, where I end on a butterfly. Um, cause I have this last poem in my book and I hadn't finished the last couple stanzas and I just did. So maybe before, when everyone gets a chance to read, if they want, I'll read you this last poem. Well, well Stephen was going to close us out, but if you want to close out with the poem and then we'll do Beanie Blessing and then we'll do our after party. Okay. All right. Cool. Unless you want this in the after party. So it's up to you if you want to share it or not. It's up to you. All right. So uh, I'll just read it. It's titled Almost. So hopefully, tell me, Christy, if this is the way you were thinking about it. I hope you are. I almost went after you when I thought I'd lost you. I almost said I never loved you. When I found you loving other women in the same way at the same time. The same way you lined us up like dominoes, an old man's calculated game of cat and mouse. Maybe I truly never loved you, or you never loved me. I almost held tight to your memory like I'd buried you already, crying daily for the gaping space you left, tangled in the recklessness you cast a fisherman's net to an ocean of women like me who only know better after the storm. I almost forgot to forget you, but I forgot I still had work to do to heal me. I almost never loved again. I cut off all who found interest, all who were curious, all who had questions, all who just wanted to be my friend. Since you defiled my humanity and perverted my trust, to leave me clanking a tin can, vagabond, wanting not even her dreams anymore in this life. I almost never wanted a man or a woman again to find my body, to touch my skin, feel my hair, or kiss my mouth. I almost died with you on my mind, holding that blade to my heart like I could cut you from the fabric of my history the dark parts that make me better for everyone else now. I almost never got over you. I almost cried every day you were away. I rooted around in an empty bed as cold covers encased this change. Metamorphosis of something better has to be ahead. Keep your head about you, woman. Sit tight. Light is on its way to shine and warm and heal. For time re will reveal a beautiful place, a beautiful face, and an open hand that has been waiting for you all this time to love them back, to fly into forever on butterfly wings and never, ever look back. Thank you. And that's how you end a book. Perfection. Perfection. I could just see that, like, I'm like, I feel like the ending is her flying above. So when you're like flying on the wings, I'm like, yep, that's it. 
but not alone, right? And so I love that. We don't have to go through this world alone. Thank God. Um, thank you for sharing that. And buy her book, Birth and Butterflies, when it comes out. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Stephen, did you want to sing one more song before we wrap up? No, you can wrap up, maybe. Or, or, what are you okay. doing? You going to a party? Is there, we is have there, our is after there any party. Scotch? I mean, what, what's, what happens at, at the party? I, I host our after party, and then, I, and then I have a cup of tea and go to bed like the old woman I am. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> I'm like not... <laughs> What'd you say? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, just thinking that being more... recorded. This is, this is being streamed on Facebook right now. So I'm just it is. It's going to go on YouTube also. Welcome to Deadpan 30-something banter. Hmm. Anyway, um, no, we'll have our little after party on Zoom when the live feed goes out. So if anyone wants to hang out, go check the Zoom in the event, and uh, you can join us there. And we can play music and share poetry there as well sometimes it gets a little naughtier um but thank you everyone for being here tonight sharing your artistry always a pleasure to have and hold the space for you to close us out tonight with beanie blessings is terry rose jerson you still there terry all right well i hope terry is okay um would anyone else like to be beanie blessings tonight would you I'm see sure that oh there she is too. okay there she is i'll make sure you're okay I, I have a stomach ache and i'm trying to like you know when you have one of those kind of pains in your stomach and it won't go away and you don't know what to do with it so you either shove your food down or you starve yourself well i, I went yeah. to shove your food down away oh so i'm, I'm sorry you're not gonna happen here Anyhow, uh, I'm sorry you're not too much information. Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, but are you are you okay to still read Beanie Blessings? Sure. I gotta Thank scroll you. up to find it. Where where did it go? You want me to screen share it for you instead? Um, yeah, that'd be great. There, we'll do that. Oh, page poetry. Beanie Blessings. We close out our time together, staring up at the same sky, whether the sun kisses down on your face, the cotton candy clouds begin to swirl in the early evening, the crescent moon fades as in the constellations begin to dance throughout the night. We all look up at the same sky. Thank you for blessing the sky, soil beneath our feet and our family with your presence and art. Thank you for taking the time to create. Thank you for holding space. May you squirt out per oops. <laughs> May you squirt out poems kitty style in dreamland. May we always have beanies to keep us warm and stylish. This has been the Dead Pan Dope Tuesday open mic with the word is right, hosted by Dead Pan Lizzie, the beanie god. On behalf of our community. I say, I bid you adieu until the next time. Beanie blessings. Beanie blessings. Have a good night, everyone. I didn't, I didn't know what you meant by beanie blessings. I, that's. <laughs>